The materials that I'm using to make this fractal hat is a blue yarn with a white sparkle in it. I don't know who made this yarn. The band fell off. I'm thinking it's Red Heart, but I'm not 100% sure. The hook that I'm using is an I9 5.5 millimeter. I have a pair of scissors and a large eye tapestry needle. In all my videos, I comment about how to pull from the center skein. Well, this time I got lucky. It was sticking right out. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about it. But if you notice that when you do pull on a brand new skein, you can feel a lot of the tension that's on there. So please pull out a bunch of yarn. And don't be surprised if you get a big glob mixed in with it. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with a, a nice size tail. Actually, we need a super long tail, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make the tail separate. Uh, we're going to be starting with a slip stitch and a chain of 66. Now, I do want to point out that in the making of this hat, we will be starting at the top and working down and then when we do the band on the bottom we will do an extra wide one so that we can fold it over in case we want to keep our ears really warm so let's go ahead and get started we're going to chain 66 one two three keep on going until you get to 66 so please pause your video 64, 65, 66. Yes, we made it. <laughs> Seems like a long chain, doesn't it? If you actually put it around your head, you'll find that it will fit around your head. The multiples in this pattern is multiples of six. So we're going to be having 11 repeats of this pattern on this row. So, we have our last chain. Let's go ahead and follow it through, making sure that nothing is twisted. And then when we get to the end, we're going to bring it around. We're going to place our hook in that very first loop. And then we're going to complete it with a slip stitch. So we have us a nice round loop with no issues. Next, we're going to chain five. One, two, three. This counts as the double crochet for this side of the stitch then the chain two which will be between you will understand it more as we go along so that's part of our beginning this hat consists of double crochets and single crochets and chain stitches so where we slip stitch that chain right here we got on to that one part of the chain we're going to be placing three double crochets into the where the two parts of that chain is. One. Once you get started on this first row, it does take a little bit of time, but it all looks nice when it's all done. Okay, so we have three double crochets. Let me bring my camera in closer. Since I use a GoPro, I have to stop. I don't have the luxury of um, 
bringing in the lens closer when I need it. So bear with me just a second. Thank you for being patient. All right, so after we've done our three double crochet, we want to chain one. And now we're going to be skipping some stitches. So go back down here to the bottom, the one that has the three double crochets in, don't count that. We're going to skip two, one, two. And in our third one, we're going to place a single crochet. I guess I should have pointed out to you, when you notice these chains, there's like three parts to the chain. I like to pick up two parts of the chain to make sure that the stitch, the chain stitch doesn't stretch too far out of shape. After we've completed the one single crochet, we're going to chain one. We're going to come back here and we're going to count our stitches again. So here, the one that we're in, we do not count. We're going to count the next one, one, two, and into the third one, we're going to place three double crochets. And like I said, the first row on these chain stitches can be fumbling, so that's why I'm not pushing it and going too fast for you, because I have the same issue. So we have two double crochets, and here's three. Okay, I'm going to slide them over, chain two, and in that same stitch, yes, you're going to think I'm crazy, we're going to place <laughs> three more double crochet. Here's one, and even though I pull it out of my skein, sometimes it still gets twisted on me. Here's two, and here's number three. Chain one. Now go back to your double crochet in all those, uh, all of those double crochets in that chain stitch. You see how it's stretched out, but you can see that little line there that's showing here's the next chain. We're going by this little hump up here. So we're going to count that as one, here's number two, and in our third one, we're going to place that single crochet and chain one. And here, we're going to not count this one, skip two, one, two, and in that third one, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, slide them over, three more. One, two, three, and then chain one. Okay, I've shown you a couple of times how to do this. So let me show you up to the single crochet, and then I'm going to let you go on your own. So here's one with all of the single crochets. So we're going to count the next one. One, two, I should say double crochet, sorry about that. <laughs> and then the third one, we're going to place our single crochet. Okay, and chain one. Then you're going to continue around. Don't count the one that you just placed your your last stitch in. One, two, and then the third one will get the six double crochets with the chain two in the middle of the six. Okay, and then you'll one, two, and then the third one, single crochet. So continue that all the way around. When you get back here, you're going to wonder, how do I finish this? Well, 
I'm going to show you how to do that when you get there. So please pause your video and take your time and go all the way around. Once we get past this first row, believe me, it does get easier. <laughs> okay, so how did you do? I hope you did well. You should have 11 of these three double crochets two together three double crochets you should have 11 of those going around and let's finish this row we skip the last two <laughs> I did my math right didn't I <laughs> okay so remember the three chain three at the beginning of the row and then the two well this is going to be like the end of the row so here's the chain and two double crochets so we're going to be placing two double crochets in this first chain right here okay now even though you may think well how am I going to do this is a lot of bulk it's okay it'll be the very top of the hat so there's one and two okay so Let's count up one, two, three. We're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. So that completes this row. Moving on to the next row, we need to start off with a single crochet. So just go straight into. Uh, yarn over pull up a loop yarn through both on the hook and then the next we're going to do is front post double crochets but before we do that we need to chain two now I wanted to point out how most crocheters this is a front post double crochet but being that it's going to create a lot of bulk in this hat, we're not going to do that. So yarn over. We're going to go under the chain. We're going to go through the back so that we're only picking up the upper portion of the stitch. So yarn over and pull up a loop. And this is going to be part of a double crochet three together so we're only going to do part of the double crochet so let's do our second one yarn over we're going to go through the open hole here go under the top half of that double crochet from the previous row you can see the two V's on the top yarn over pull up a loop yarn over through two and then stop because that's part of that double crochet we're going to do it one more time yarn over and go through the stitch here we're going to come up and go through that chain yarn over pull up a loop through the two now we also have to complete the look of the star that this pattern is giving so we're going to continue on doing the same thing to these three double crochets so leave all of these on your hook ready yarn over we're going to go just like you're going to go there come underneath pick up the top part of that stitch pull up a loop yarn over through just the two loops we've got two more to go yarn over okay pull up a loop yarn over through two loops and stop one more <laughs> I know there's a lot on the hook but you'll be fine yarn over we're going to go through front side on the right Oops, I dropped it. Okay. Through the front, we got that chain. Makes it a little struggle for us, but we can do it. 
pull up a loop, yarn over through two, okay? You should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on your hook. You ready to pull them all through? You see what happened on my yarn? <laughs> Let me pull some out real quick, just a little bit so I can pull this through. And now, you can take it over, aim your hook down, and under all of those loops on the hook, and then tighten it up. And this is what we have. Looks like the bottom half of an, of an X a little bit. Okay, chain three. One is to lock that stitch, and chain two to move on to our next, what we need to do. We're gonna single crochet in the chain two space. Kinda excited, aren't you? Moving on to the next part, huh? All right, we're gonna do this again. I <laughs> know, we're having fun, right? Okay, so chain two, and we're gonna do this, yarn over, the deep double crochet, three together, pull up a loop. Now, if you're struggling with this, please practice with it, don't give up on it. I know you can do it, it just takes a little bit of practice. And if you need to, um, once I stop showing you how to do this, I encourage you to rewind the video so that you can understand it a little bit better. Or you can send me a message saying, help. <laughs> I'll be more than happy to do what I can to help you. Okay. So I had to pull out some more yarn. All right. I, we did the first three. Let's move on to the next three. Gonna pull up a loop, yarn over under the second one, yarn over and under the third one. Okay. We have the seven loops on our hook. Yarn over through all seven. Okay, chain one to close it, and chain two to move on. Gonna place our single crochet in this chain two, and chain two. Are you ready to move on by yourself? Or do you need one me to help you with one more time? Okay, I think you can do it. Go ahead and give it a try. Please pause your video. I'll meet you at the end of the row, right over here by our single crochet where we first started. And please be patient with it. I'm here for you. I know this row took a little bit of time. I'm at the last of our um, double crochet three together. So this, I'm gonna quickly go through that and I'm gonna show you after we have um, do this very last one, how the next row is gonna go. Whoops, almost got that single crochet, didn't I? Okay, so here we are at the top of that chain three. Oops. Okay, and then through all of those loops, chain three, one, remember one is to close. <clears throat> 
So we're going to slip stitch into the top of that single crochet and this actually completes our row. So here's two rows completed of our hat. You see how big around it is. Now the size that I've given you is for a an adult or a child with a lot of hair. <laughs> um, I made a hat for a friend of mine and her daughter had a lot of hair. So we're moving on to our next row now. Do not chain up one. What we're going to do is we're going to go directly into making a single crochet over all of this. So go under and draw up a loop and complete it as if you were making a single crochet. We want to chain one. Then right here where we drew everything together <laughs> yes we are going to be placing three double crochets chain two three double crochets into that space one two three chain two now if you pay attention this is is just like row one so what we're doing is we basically are just shifting it over a little bit so here's one two and three. Oh yes we made it hallelujah okay chain one our single crochet is going to go over all of this single crochet so we're going to go into that hole we'll go underneath that single crochet and we're going to drop a loop now the loop you want to bring up between the middle of the uh, previous single crochet and that'll give it the look of just one single crochet here instead of two. Chain one. Okay, we're going to go right here to our next, where our cluster center is. We're going to place three double crochets. Chain two, three double crochets, all in that same space. There's two, three, chain two, slide it over if you need to, and three more. One, two, and three chain one. Let's take a look at what we have so far. Okay, you can see the little star. The next row will definitely define the little star here. So after our chain one, here's our single crochet. Let's go into the space below it. Bring our loop up in between the previous single crochet, chain one, and we're going to continue this all the way around until we get back here at our beginning. So go ahead and do that. I'll meet you at the end of the row. Please pause your video. At the end of this row, we still have our single crochet right here. After our chain one from the, th the last three double crochets, slip stitch into the top of that single crochet. We're going to slip stitch over 
to the first double crochet and there we will make a single crochet front post under and chain two. This will look just like it's part of the double crochet three together stitch. Now we're going to do the front post double crochet but only do half and I found that instead of going through that chain if you just went underneath up to the top of that last one it'll work out just fine so here we have the three this is to finish from the row so we're gonna pull that together chain one two and three. Into our next stitch we're going to do a single crochet and chain two. And this will take us back to where we will do the double crochet three together on this side and on this side to have the seven loops that we'll, we will pull together. <laughs> the saying of the double crochet three together <laughs> it's kind of like a tongue twister for me because in my mind I keep seeing DC three together <laughs> okay so here we got the first three let's do our second three here's one two, and one more. So we have our seven loops on our hook. Let's pull them all together. Chain one, and two more chains. Can you see the star now? Okay, let's continue around. I'm the next stitch we're going to do is the single crochet, chain two, and then into our double crochet three together, double crochet three together, and through all the loops on the hook, chain two, single crochet, chain two. Go ahead and do that all the way around, and I'll meet you back over here and show you how to finish this row. Please pause your video. So did you get as far as I did? Here I thought I had to add on. Well, guess what? We're at the end of the row. <laughs> so if you haven't gotten uh, through the first of the double crochet three together, go ahead and do that now. Uh, I don't want to play no Jeopardy music or anything like that. <laughs> And then we're going to go ahead and insert the hook into the center of where we first started this row. And we're going to draw up a loop. Okay, and you're going to see how that's going to pull it all together. So here we're going to have one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. So go ahead and pull them all together and chain one closed. And admire your work. You really can't tell where it stopped and started. Only you know the difference, huh? <laughs> okay, so now here's the fun part. We're going to start our next row. Um, I'm back. <laughs> that took a while. Look at my finger. Yeah. So, I hope you, <laughs> you were able to use more of the video. I know I did. After a while, I quit quit using it. 
but I decided on seven inches because we're going to be doing a ribbing for the rest of it, which is a lot easier than this. Um, to be honest with you, this took me about two hours, maybe a little longer. Um, and I had to put it down and step away and walk a little bit because sitting, sometimes sitting in the chair was just a little too long. <laughs> so let me uh, let you know that when you end, you want to end where it's straight, not the one that's jagged. Uh, I guess I should have counted the rows, huh? So here's the this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven extra rows is what um, I ended up putting on here. Maybe my count could be off. All I know is that it took a while, but it looks fantastic. So let's move on to our next port part. I'm so excited. Can you tell? <laughs> so uh, we're going to chain two. And this row, we're going to do all double crochets. None of this fancy stuff right here. So where we did two, we're going to place two double crochets. Where we have the single crochet, we place one. So as we go around, we're going to find that every chain two. Now, I know when you close this one, it was chain three. But remember, the chain one is for closing it. Okay, so we're just going to do two and then we're going to do one right here in the center. And then we go over here to two. Okay, here we are back at the single crochet. So continue that all the way around. When we are back here, we should have 66. So go ahead and do that. Please pause your video. So after we've completed this, double check your count, include the chain two as part of your count because when we do the forward and backwards for the front post and back post, um, the ribbing here, we want to make sure that this is also included because um, we need an even number. So slip stitch into the top of that chain and then chain two. Now is where we're going to go ahead and start our ribbing and uh, I'm going to encourage you to do it for about six rows. This will give you the equivalent, let's see, these are about a half an inch, so six rows would be about mm, three inches. So let's go, go ahead and do this. So to do a front post, we're doing the regular kind, not the kind we did here. Pull up a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Then we're going to go from the back and come around from the back. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two. And you'll go through this motion of front and back all the way around. Okay, and you can kind of see how it's creating that ribbing effect as well. So let's continue to do this. You'll want a total of six rows or three inches. 
after it's completed you can fold it up and this will give you a better idea of how tight you want it or if you just want a couple of rows and make it so that the uh, the ribbing is just a little bit you can do that as well but for this particular tutorial I'm encouraging to do the six rows so go ahead and do that please pause your video and I'll see you in a few minutes where we will sew our end up here I am not gonna lie but after five hours working on this hat and making this video my finger <laughs> says enough is enough I do have um, my three inches here I did more than six rows I did eight rows now to sew in the thread I'm gonna come on to the back side of the hat I'm gonna go down a few rows and then I'm gonna pull it just a little bit now go over the top one where you came out go over the top of it and go back the other direction don't cut your yarn yet remember to stretch it because if you cut it down there it could show up so go over the top one again and then come out down here Okay. okay and that takes care of the ribbing side now we want to finish the inside with your yarn on your your needle here you want to make it so that it'll double the size so we're going to do one two go ahead and cut your thread and i'll show you what to do next now i've seen a lot of crocheters when they make their hats they only use one strand i really encourage you to double it and what we're going to do is we're going to go in and out of the the hole from the three double crochet together and around the single crochet. This will give us the approximate same spots every time. So go ahead and do that until you come all the way back here to where you started and I'll show you what to do next. So after you've gone all the way around, go ahead and cut it by where your needle is at and pull your needle out. And then take the two strands and pull them together like so. You'll see that it'll all gather up. Okay. Then we're gonna make a square knot. Okay, once you do that first overhand, go ahead and tighten it some more. Then right over left, left over right, or left over right, right over left, whichever way you stopped it at. There we go. We have a nice little gather here at the top. You can take your ends with your hook about where your ends came in at or stopped at there sorry I hit my camera or you can go right through the center here pull your ends through make sure you got all four of them and remember that one end that we had we can tie it all off right here in the in the inside of your hat and if you want to be doubly safe open it up make another square knot and cut it with about a half an inch left and we are done with our hat now if by your choice you wish to put a pom-pom or something up here 
I encourage it, um, but for this video, I am not going to. I hope that you've enjoyed the challenge that this video put out. I really had a fun time doing it, and my finger is proof of it. <laughs> I enjoy doing these things. I like being creative. I like um, being the, having the opportunity to share with what I've learned with somebody else. Here you can see where we folded the ribbing brim up to make it so that our hat has a nice little um, extra electricity or if you need to pull it down to cover your ears so I guess you can call it like a little beanie I call it the fractal hat it reminds me of the uh, little cartoon that's out that all these kids love because uh, the little snowflake or star shape that's in it. The nice thing about this blue yarn, um, I don't know if you can see the actual sparkle from the little white that's in it. It shows on my video, so I'm hoping it'll show when you see it. It's perfect for this yarn or for this style hat. Whichever way, I enjoyed having you here with me. I know this was quite a challenge. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. So until the next time on uh, a crocheted video, thank you and bye-bye.